All right, so I want to have a little talk about how we use Dynamo Streams on our project at work. And basically, DynamoDB is an Amazon database you can use to kind of infinitely store and scale up your data. It's a key value store, so it's very different from Mongo. It's very different from SQL, where you can't easily query for data based on any field. You can only find data based on a primary and secondary key. Uh, it's called a sort key. Um, so when you... If you don't know those things, then you have to like do some workarounds to use like a global secondary index where you can kind of change what your primary key is and what your, your sort key is. But anyway, we use DynamoDB, but something that's pretty cool about Dynamo is that anytime anything ever gets written or deleted to the database, you can actually set up kind of like a hook called a stream to kind of listen to all those events. And you can migrate that data live as stuff is changing in your database. So let's just go back to our diagram here. I'm going to go ahead and pull in DynamoDB if I can find the diagram for it. All right, so we got DynamoDB going over here. So again, DynamoDB is our database. So you'll have like an API over here that is, you know, writing. Oh, in fact, let me, let me actually share kind of how we're doing it. So I'll do a Lambda. You'll have a Lambda that's basically writing some data into Dynamo. Maybe it's reading data from Dynamo. And that Lambda is in front of API gateway and a user is going to hit that with an API request from your front end. But we don't really care about that. Let's just talk about the Lambda Dynamo part. So someone is going to basically send a request in, uh, makes a API request, which is going to invoke a Lambda, which is going to basically write some data to uh, Dynamo. In fact, I think it would make more sense if I pulled this down here and I pulled in a user. You know, let's just do this properly. Like, let me show you the real diagram stuff. Um, so there should be an API gateway somewhere. All right. So imagine that you load up your React application and you need to make a request. Okay, so we're going to basically show this in a diagram where a user makes a request from their browser to your API gateway. API gateway is going to invoke the Lambda, and then the Lambda is going to do some logic, and maybe it's going to write some data to Dynamo. So I'm just going to go ahead and put, like, writes to Dynamo. All right, so in our scenario, what we want to do is we have a, a bunch of data that we need to basically move to Elasticsearch so that we can allow our APIs to query on the Elasticsearch cluster um, in a more performant way. Because like I said, there's some big limitations to Dynamo. You can't easily query on any field that you want. You need to know the primary key. So let's say that you had a, a database where you stored a bunch of products. So kind of imagine like Amazon. So you store a bunch of products. And for some reason, you want users to be able to search for products that start with the letter uh, X or something. Um, you might be able to do it in Dynamo if you set up your, your composite key correctly. But if you didn't, it becomes very difficult. Like, and if you wanted to make that query even more like specific, like you want to find all of the documents or all the products that are in the home and garden category and are under the price of $10, you literally can't do that in Dynamo. It's going to be very hard or almost impossible unless you restructure your entire, entire table, restructure your query patterns, and it's just not going to be good. So what we do will kind of allow us to easily do that reverse index searching is we have something called uh, Elasticsearch. I don't know if they have an icon for that. They don't have an icon, but I'm just going to put like a database icon here because Elasticsearch kind of is a database. It's called Open Search in Amazon, but we have Elasticsearch, and basically what we do is every time someone writes into Dynamo, we are creating a stream. So let me just go ahead and do something like this, where basically all those write events are streamed over to Elasticsearch. Now there's some more stuff going on in between, so let me just go ahead and make a queue, if I can find a queue. Here's a queue. There's kind of like a queue that's going on here, and I think behind the scenes, Dynamo is the, the streams are using something called Kinesis. In fact, I guess it would be good to see if we actually have a Kinesis icon here. I don't think we do. Oh, there is a Kinesis icon. So DynamoDB streams are not 100% Kinesis. I think there's like some caveats with uh, how Dynamo streams work. But basically, it's a Kinesis stream that is um, kind of taking all the data and piping it as it's written. So... I'm going to say like send write event, and that's going to be a Kinesis event. 
And in between Elasticsearch and your Kinesis stream, you can have it invoke a Lambda. So let's just go ahead and pull another Lambda in. And this Lambda can do whatever you want, okay? So we could have this Lambda take the, the records as they're coming in. We could have those be logged out somewhere. You know, we could send those events to a third-party service. We could do whatever you want with them. But what we do on this project is we actually pipe those directly into Elasticsearch and we index into those into our Elasticsearch database. So it's a big, it's a big process that I want to say it's a big process, but the use of using Dynamo Streams allows you to kind of take your data as it's being written and you can push it to whatever database that you want, which is really cool because Dynamo sucks with queries and what you actually want to do is have a better database. So we basically have all of our data duplicated directly into Elasticsearch. Maybe this is a dumb idea, but we had to kind of do it because we started with Dynamo. We ran into some issues with like not being able to easily do queries and we needed a more performant a queryable database for doing these searches. So at some point you're going to have this Lambda, like let's say a user is going to make uh, a different request. So I'll just go ahead and do all that. And the whole purpose of the stream again was just to give the user a more flexible way to doing searching queries, right? A lot of the data we can just get directly from Dynamo because we might know the PK combo. Um, but there's limitations of Dynamo with like your item size can only be like 400 kilobytes or something. So then you have to like make sure that you're not hitting those limits and it's very hard to query for the data you want. So you might have another endpoint that basically it's Elasticsearch to get that data. The only downfall to this approach is that this is not going to be real time, not real time. There is a delay, right? So from going from here to here, there is a delay. I'll put delay. Um, and depending on how many records were written, this thing could be backed up. Like there could be a backup in the Kinesis stream because you can only process so many events at once, right? So this thing could potentially be backed up. So by the time the person writes their record into Dynamo, this might take, you know, and the, usually it takes like a second or less, but sometimes if there's a ton of traffic going to your Dynamo database, you have a ton of events going. And there's only so many lambdas that can process the Kinesis stream at once, right? Kind of, Cause it kind of has to go in, uh, in order as the events come in. So if there is any type of backup or delay, that means that the users doing that query over here will not see that record uh, when they do their search. So most of the times that's not an issue because the people doing these queries over here don't need like the most, you know, one second accurate query results. They could wait a couple of seconds, you know, maybe they can wait minutes and then just do their search as long as at some point they can get those results back, right? So that's kind of the approach that we take. Hopefully this video kind of helps you understand a little overview about how Dynamo and Kinesis streams work and kind of, you know, and then hopefully uh, you kind of understand my, my complaints with Dynamo. It's like a different type of way, it's a different type of way of storing your data and is not really good at doing flexible queries. So. Yeah, if you enjoyed watching this, be sure to uh, give me a thumbs up. Also, join my Discord if you want to talk to me directly or have more questions about this. You want to kind of talk further about this approach. But just wanted to kind of share a little design with you all with how we do some stuff in Amazon and hopefully it helps you improve your project or improve your knowledge. Have a good day and happy coding.